survey. I'm having a lot of technical difficulties tonight. First, my camera will work. Now things aren't copying. Gosh dang it. This is not going to be a unsubscribed you. What? Hope that's not what's happening to everybody. It's okay, Cheyenne. I'm okay. I heard that's been happening to a lot of people, though, for some odd reason. I don't really know why. But I know it's super freaking late, and I'm super freaking tired, but I've been trying to find out if this kid has been found or what for the past two hours. Um, so, this is, I'm in a weird position right now because of this. <laughs> She's in my spot. She never lays here, never lays with me, so I'm not going to bother her. But that's why my camera is, like, in a weird that's why I look like I have even a better, worse double chin right now. Because um, she's where I usually put my laptop. I was thinking about going over to my table, but I don't have a good chair. So, well, according to what we found out, he has not been found. But we've been trying to figure it out for the past two hours. Because I was told when I was going to come work on this that he was found. And then, then we saw some comments that specified that he'd probably been found. And so we finally went in the group and we're like, dude, is he even found or not? And they're like, no, he hasn't been found. So that's why I'm so late getting on here is we've been trying for two hours to figure out if he was a found and all of that. Um, so apparently he hasn't been found. Can you guys hear me okay or is it just Linda? My camera wouldn't work earlier, and I had to restart the whole thing. Can you hear me okay? Check your... It's just you, Linda. Everybody else can hear me fine. Check your... Whatever you're listening on. Um, Because I was actually going to go turn off the fan. It might be me, too, because I'm tired. I kind of mumble when I'm tired, and I don't mean to. So I will try to talk as clearly as I can. Okay? Um... But like I was saying, for those that just popped on, I would have done this a lot earlier. It's super late, I know. But we didn't know if they were, shoot, he was found or not. And so I'm sitting here like, well, what do I do, dude? Like, I can't figure out if this kid is found or not. I've been working all day. I, I've been redoing readings for like six hours today. But this is something I don't feel I want to wait on. So um, I'm going to get started with my whole spill and everything. So I don't expect a whole lot of people to come on. I mean, if they do, they could just watch it later. Because like, it's 11.27 here. I'm freaking, I'm done for the day. But I'm sorry I'm at a weird angle. Like I said, I'll show you guys. <laughs> She's taking over my spot where I put my camera or my computer. So, um, I just found out actually the weird, I'll tell you how I found out about this case. 
I was on, uh, it was almost kind of faded. I was on TikTok Live, like watching somebody psychic. I don't know. I was scrolling and found her. And she was just on for a few minutes. And somebody asked her the question if he was going to be found. And she said, I'm not connected right now. I can't tell you. And I commented and I said, well, I work missing persons. Can you give me some information? And I actually inboxed her and asked her for a picture and information on it. I was just giving initially what I got. And I don't know if it's right now. So um, it could have been anybody at that point because I didn't really sit down and do a reading. It was just what I was initially getting. Um, I, I initially want to go out the back of the property, but I can't tell you yet until I start channeling what I'm going to get. Now, this is a newly missing case, so I'm not even sure how much I'm going to be able to get. I know when I did Kenny Howard, I was able to get a lot, depending on if he's alive. Um, it's going to be a little bit harder to get information, but I'll just give you whatever I can and whatever they're going to give me. And if we have to do a follow-up tomorrow or something to try to get more, we can. Um, what is weird about this is they just now reported him missing, and he's been missing since yesterday at 3 o'clock. So that I don't get. Um, I told the person that I had I had spoken to, it told me about him, um, that I kept getting, I was getting three, and I thought within you know, maybe something about three miles or something, but he's three, he went missing at three o'clock, he went missing on the third, so three seems to be a big number in this case. Before I get into all that, let me just do my little spiel so that I protect myself and everything. And my fat chin. <laughs> okay, so um, if you guys have not seen the podcast, make sure that you guys go to Spotify and add that or Apple or wherever you listen to your guys' podcast. There's also a link below. The little icons are um, on my podcast group. I can tell you all the ways that you can listen, and I've shared it multiple times. Um, so there's that. I have merchandise. I have my book down below. Everything that other ways that you guys can support me. I now have memberships, and I have a Patreon, which has two Ted Bundy readings and OJ Simpson. So if you're interested in that, all the links are down below. Um, if you feel so inclined, you know, you can donate or whatever. Anyways, information can be past, present, and future, symbolic, or have multiple meanings. Spirit will sometimes use my references or experiences to try to explain what they are trying to say. Um, this, the way that spirit works is a lot like puzzle pieces. And we have to take the puzzle pieces and kind of put them together. It's not always so straightforward and actually is rarely ever straightforward. Um, so just want to throw that out there. We're not 100% all the time, so keep that in mind. I do have interconnect, so sometimes I may get other cases that kind of intertwine in this. If people have been watching me for a while, you kind of know what my interconnects are. Um, it's if it's a similar case or a case I'm going to work on in the future or something, they'll give me the information early. It makes it a little confusing, but that's just the way spirit works with me. Um, everyone is innocent until proven guilty if there is anybody involved in this. these This is for entertainment purposes only, and this is in no way factual. It's only psychic medium impressions. Okay. So I'm going to clear real quick because I forgot to do that. Um... If you have not hit the like button, please do so. It does help the algorithm. You just took over my spot. Dang it, girl. I put cinnamon in my tea today. If you have not tried that, you should try it. Okay. I'm just going to clear real quick. I forgot to do so and hopefully I can get information I can't promise like I said this is a new case new cases are pretty hard sometimes and I am so tired so <laughs> I don't know what we're what's gonna happen honestly
Let's pull up this picture. Hoping I can do this, man. Freaking tired. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go. I saw a better picture that I liked on his group. I don't really put any information in the group, so it's a public group. If you guys want to join it, oh, you know what? Let me mention. Let me mention some important information real quick. Okay, so he's last seen on June 3rd around 3 o'clock p.m. around mile marker 18 and 19 on Highway 56. He's three years old, has red hair and blue eyes. Uh, please call Lincoln County Dispatch if you have seen him at 406-293-4112. So I just want to put that out there. Um, and his missing poster is also on the picture. But I like this little picture of him because... It shows his face a little bit better. Um, he's a cute kid. Really cute kid. They have him as four years old, but they messed up on that. He's only three. Or is he four? I don't know. It says missing four-year-old originally thought to be three, and then someone told him, oh, no, he's three. So... This thing seems all messed up, dude. Why didn't the Amber Alert go out yesterday? That's why I don't understand. Yeah, I know they cha they have it on there as four, and then they changed. Then someone told them they were wrong. So I don't know. It seems all messed up. Um, I can tell you though, he's not in the lake, and I know I have not gotten water with him at all. So I just want to say that I don't feel he's in the water. Um, a lot of kids have drowned in that area because when I was trying to Google to find his picture or to see any kind of press release, which there was none at the time, um, all I kept coming up was other kids that had drowned in that area. What's weird is if you guys have watched the case I did la um, the other night, um, Alexis, I kept being pulled to a bull road and talking about a bull, right? Um, this is Bull Lake, so that's what I mean about things. They're just it's weird. I don't know. The way that Spirit brings stuff to me, it's odd. Let's see if this pen will work. It's not working. Oh, come on. Do it right. There we go. My eyes are so heavy, guys. I'm sorry. I hope I do a good job because I am just so exhausted. I don't know. I've been doing... I, I usually don't work this much, ever. I don't do this many readings, so it's very draining. Case nobody knows um, how draining it is. I'm getting a headache all of a sudden. I don't know if that's because I'm tired or hope it's not because of him. Because weirdly earlier, I kept feeling like I wanted to go out the back of the house to the woods, and I kept getting that. For some odd reason. But. Hold on one second. It sucks that I have to put my laptop in my lap. Because of somebody. Come here. Come here. If you want up here. Get up here. Come on. Come on. Ginger. Hurry up. I got to do this reading. Get up here. My 16 year old acts like she wants up. She's just standing there. And I go to reach for her. And she backs up. Come on. Whatever. Time for you right now. Light is like really top heavy for my computer. Okay. I'm just going to scribble here and see what we get. I'm getting hot all of a sudden though. And I hope I get something because I'm a little worried that I'm too tired and I'm not going to. But I'm going to try. And if I don't, I'll just pop back on tomorrow, but I don't even work on Sundays. We're going to see. I just think it's weird that they didn't put out anything yesterday. They, like, they missed a whole day. It's no sense. Hmm. 
If you guys haven't had the like, please do so. I'm telling you, I'm having the hardest time. See, I lost this picture. I'm having the hardest time with stuff today. Like, all of a sudden, with my electronics. Weird. Yeah, I'm confused as to why they didn't have anything out yesterday. It makes no sense to me at all. They wasted, like, what, 30 hours? It, there should have been something put out right away. I hadn't even heard of the case, and the, the only way the person knew was because she's from that area. So, I don't know. It's kind of stupid. All right, let's see. Come on, baby. I feel like I want to cough for some reason. I don't know why. I hope it's not because I am. Um, I'm struggling a little bit because there's, it's like I'm getting stuff, but I'm questioning it and I'm not trying to, but I keep hearing a truck and I don't really know why. So I'm just going to put that out there. Um, so I don't really know why I keep hearing it. Um, I keep seeing, um, he shows me, he shows me him playing, which I know we kind of know, but Anyways, if whatever we know, if I see it, I'm still going to say it. Okay, there's a... I don't know why. Okay, so he keeps showing me, or I keep getting... Um, something about cartoons, and this is just like, yeah, I don't know. Um, hopefully I can get something. I'm struggling a little bit, honestly. I think it's just because I'm tired, but, or it's because he's newly missing, and if he's alive, it will be hard. Okay, Amanda, I'm going to try, and if I can't. Like I was saying, I'm, like, super tired, but if I can't get anything tonight, then I'll definitely try tomorrow. Um, so, okay, so I keep seeing him playing with cars and watching cartoons. I know that's a kid thing. I know it's an obvious thing, but that's what I'm seeing. Um, and what's weird is... Uh, He's like jumping up and down while he's watching his cartoons. I don't know what he's watching, but it's something that makes him want to jump up and down and dance. Um, so, again, I know it's obvious, but that's what he's showing me. Or that's what I'm seeing, I should say, in regards to him. I can tell you, Amanda, I'm not picking. I'm not picking up the water at all. And this today, when I got the when I was told about it, I or I ran across it. I didn't think. Um, I will. I'm trying to get it now. I'm just I'm just struggling a little bit because he's new, you know. But yeah, he's jumping and dancing. Um, I don't know why he's showing me that. 
Yeah, I never thought I, um, I was talking to someone earlier and I, I was telling her he's not in the water. I'm not getting anything about the lake. I'm not getting anything about water. I was getting woods though, but, and I kept wanting to go out the back of the house. I'm sure they searched all that. So what I'm trying to see is did he wander off? Did he get picked up? Is there something else going on? Um, that's what I'm trying to see. Yeah, like I never, I never saw he was in the water. But anyways, going back, um, um, nothing. Just validate anything that you know, and don't try to give me any extra information, um, because I don't like to know anything. People will tell you. <laughs> just you can just validate whatever you know. That would be helpful. Um. keep hearing the name Jack. I don't know who that is yet. So we're just going to put that there. Um, freaking head just started hurting so bad though. Um, And what's weird is that none of the neighbors, like, saw, like, if anybody would have came by there. Because I feel like if their houses are kind of close together out there, because I looked at the map. Like, if someone would have picked them up, I guess they would have seen that. Um, I keep getting a reference to a shed. Okay. So his dad didn't notice him missing. There's something odd about the dad, but I don't, I'm not gonna, I'm not saying he's involved or anything like that. Um, I know that's 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 what he's saying. I know, but I just so I keep getting. I don't know yet. Um, okay. I don't know yet. I keep seeing a shed, but I don't. I'm trying. I can only give you what, he, what I get. That's what I was saying. I don't know what I'm going to get. Things come in as symbols. Things come in as, you know, it's not always direct. You have to put the pieces together. So I can't always... I can just give what I'm given, basically. And because it's so new, it's it's hard to get information. But especially if he's still alive, which, honestly, earlier I felt he was. Um, and I felt like he was going to be found. That was earlier in the day. But I don't know because I started getting confused by stuff. So I was like, uh, I need to go do, like, a full reading because I don't know. Because the things that I was picking up was... I kept wanting to go out the back of the house for some odd reason. I don't really know why. And has that been searched? There's, <laughs> okay. 
है I don't know. I keep going to dad and I don't really know why. I know that he was the last one that saw him and maybe that's why I'm going to him. Um, I'm not accusing anybody of anything at all. Uh, just say I have a weird feeling there and I don't, I don't really know what it is. Um, You guys don't suspect him, do you? Cause I'm <laughs> was the was the mom home or no? Right. Um, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not trying to. <sighs> right. I don't know what it is about him. I don't know what it is. It could just be that he was with the last one with him. I don't really know. Um, I know they say they don't suspect foul play and all that. And even though people aren't suspects in the beginning, they become sus suspects later. You can message me personally. I just, um, because it's so new, I'm struggling a little bit, but there's something there and I don't really know exactly what it is. Okay. Um, but there's something with the shed and what's, what's weird is, I'm kind of blocking it out because I'm just like second guessing everything at this point for some reason with him, which I usually don't have that problem. Um, Shazam and going somewhere know me personally, and they know a lot of cases I've worked, and I usually I don't really struggle too much. Um, I do second guess a lot, but I don't really struggle too much. And no, you didn't. I'm actually surprised there's so many people here this late. I wasn't expecting anybody to show up. Um, sorry, my dogs are outside. They're doing their job. Um, It is um, because the weird thing is, right, is if someone would have picked him up, I feel like someone would have seen something. Their houses seem like they're so close together out there. Uh, I keep getting a truck, but I don't know how it fits. OK. Um, there's something it's like. I don't feel like the dog would have left him. That's the that's what's throwing me off is because I feel like him and that dog were really close. And that's kind of like the only thing I know is he was with the dog. And I don't think that dog would have left him. Um, so it's weird to me. Like, I feel like if the kid walked out into the woods, like the dog would have went with him. You know what I mean? It feels like that kind of relationship with the dog. Although, you know, dogs are dogs. They can be smart and they cannot be smart. But... For some reason, I feel like 
he was super protective over that kid. And I just don't. And that's what's throwing me off. It's because I'm like, well, why, why didn't the dog go with him? Because you see all these other, <laughs> you see all these other missing people that are missing kids, right? That have dogs and the dogs go with them. You know what I mean? Um, so, th so that's kind of got me like, huh, because, right. That's what I'm saying. The, the relationship with him and the dog seem very close. And I'm reminded of other situations where the kids go in the woods and they find the dog with the kid. Like the dog does not leave the kid. I'm not saying that's going to happen in all situations, but it's kind of weird that it didn't happen in this one. Um, like I said, I don't feel he's in the water. I don't feel he's in the water. I never felt he was in the water. I always get woods with him, but the weirdest thing is... The dad, I cannot get away from the dad for some reason. I don't really know why. Um, there's something there. But there's a shed that I keep getting a reference to, and... But the case I'm getting the reference to, I don't know if it's just because of the shed or the similarities of the case. And I hope it's not because of the similarities of the case. Because of Boswell case, we all know what happened there. Um, no, he's not in the water. I've already said that. I got that in the very beginning. I'm telling you and repeating it that he's not in the water. Okay. Um, I, have a, I have a message from somebody that I sent in the very beginning is no water no water i don't feel water around him at all um i'm it's weird because i did not see the shed earlier um There's something, there's some, I can't get away from the dad for some reason. Like I was telling Amanda, there's some reason I cannot get away from the dad and I don't really know what it is. I usually pick up things a lot stronger, but because this is so new and I'm so tired, I'm struggling a little bit. Hopefully we'll get it. Um, but I told the lady today when she was looking for someone, um, she was looking for someone to help with this. Uh, that he wasn't in the water. So I never got that at all. I kept going out the back of the house. Like that's the way I want to go. If you go out the back of the house. Is the shed on the left? Does anybody know? There's something. There's something with the freaking shed. Okay the shed and the dad. And I don't. I don't know why. Um, I feel like the, I feel like the story is off. Um, okay. Garage shed. Is there a shed on the, the dad. Like I said, I'm not accusing anybody or anything, and I don't really know why I'm so focused on him. Yeah, you can send me pictures. Um, well, I don't want to look at the map yet, because I don't like to look at the map until I get what I'm done getting. Once I'm done getting what I'm getting. Um, my head just keeps hurting really bad, though, for some reason. There's something off about this whole thing. It's just, it feels off to me. The whole thing feels off. The timing feels off. Everything feels off. I 
that something's not right. Which is weird, because originally I thought he ran off. Earlier today. Um, this is, do they own a truck by chance? I keep getting a truck, but I don't really know why I keep getting a truck. Right. Which is weird. It's if it was raining. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. There's something that doesn't make sense to me. The whole story. And I don't want to accuse anybody, like I said. This is just, this is a no way fact. This is just what's coming in. Um, there's something off. There's something off with the whole thing. Um, Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking at his picture right now. This is the, one, the best one I thought, unless you got a better one. I don't think he was picked up. Because... Um... I feel like people would have seen if he had been picked up. I don't think the dog would have let him go with anybody. And I'm not really seeing a stranger abduction around this. And I'm not really seeing him. That's what I'm saying. It, was that shed checked? That's what I'm trying to pick up. Okay. Um, my head hurts really bad. I don't. I don't know at this point. And I always hate to say one way or another because that's really hard to tell, especially when it's so. Um, I have a Facebook. Uh, I think Shazam sent it to Amanda and you can get it from her. On that property, they didn't check anything on the property. For some reason, I do want to go out the back of the house, though, but like to the wooded area, but I don't really know why. Well, that's good to know because um, I keep hearing the word accident. I'm just going to say it. The main two things I keep getting is the wooded area and the shed. Um, OK, 
Because it doesn't make sense that he got out of the pool and ran away. It doesn't make sense that he... Because, like, although I... I don't know. I'll tell you guys what I get. No, I think he's still, like, on or close to the property somehow, but it's just, I can't figure out, I'm not seeing the whole picture for some reason. Um... Okay, so I don't know why I'm struggling with this so bad. I usually don't. If he's alive, that would be, I mean, that would be a reason. Um, they checked all the woods behind the house, right? Because earlier, that's what I kept getting was woods. I kept getting woods and a, and a log, but in a reference to some cases that I've worked that kind of told me he was going to be okay, but I don't know. <sighs> how far back, how far back in the woods did they check? Did they check the entire area. And you're saying that the scent dogs didn't leave the property, which is a little concerning to me. Unless just the, the water, the rain kind of screwed it all up. Um, is it? Then I must have been looking at the wrong house because what I what I saw was not at the base of the mountain. Um what I saw was a bunch of woods. It didn't look like there was any mountains there, unless it did, you just can't tell it on the map. I mean, maps are stupid sometimes. You can't really tell. Right. Well, and that's what I was saying. Like, this should have went out yesterday. This this should not have waited um, for a day, 30 hours. My computer is falling, sorry. Um, well, I know another case that I worked where a kid went way up the ridge and was up there for three days. So, it's not... Like an unforeseen thing. And actually, but actually, I seen him up there and I told them that's where they, he was and he was found. But this, I just keep getting like, it's just things don't add up. This is not. Right. And I, like I said, I've done readings all day, so I'm, I'm, I think that's another reason I'm struggling. Um, and it's newly missing. It really, everything just was off.
which you know what's weird is um okay so when i worked kenny's case it was like i saw everything that happened i saw him um i saw he chased bugs he went off and you know he was up on the ridge and that's where he was it was also clear about what had happened. I never thought the parents were involved. I never went towards the dad. I just knew that he ran off. And um, it's weird because you would think I would see the similar thing with him. But for some reason, I'm struggling. And I don't really know why. Okay, I just got your pictures. I'll try another picture and see if that works. Let me try this one. I don't know. Everybody needs to check their sheds around there. I don't know why I keep getting a damn shed. It's won't go away. Um, yeah. No, I know, but I keep getting a truck, but I don't really know why. Like, does the, um, do they have a truck? Right. Well, I don't think that's why I was getting it. I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting that. I don't know why I'm getting that. Like, sometimes I don't know why I'm getting what I'm getting. I just see it, and I just say it. And like I said, it may connect to this case, and it may not even connect to this case. Because I get interconnects. So sometimes I get information from other cases, and I don't mean to. It just happens. Um, but... Like I was seeing one and hearing one for some odd reason. I don't know. Like the family looks like a happy family. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. I don't know why I'm struggling with this. You guys watch me do lives and you know I don't usually struggle like this. So it's almost like there's a block on it. Or something. Or... He's, if he's alive, that would be why it would be hard. Um, which was what I originally got today. But I don't know.
keep I keep hearing the words down the street, but that doesn't make sense either. But I'm just gonna say it because I hear it. The thing is, I got a rocking headache, and I don't really know where it came from. And oh, okay. Well, maybe that's why I heard that. keep going back to the dog. Like, I don't get why the dog wasn't with him. It's kind of... I feel like that dog looked out for him, so... If he would have taken off, I feel the dog would have followed him. Like, that's what keeps coming in, is... Or that's what I keep feeling. Almost freaking out of ink already. Yeah, um, just, I keep getting, like, things aren't as they seem. I don't really know what they mean by that. Um, off, like, it's just everything's off. Maybe even the timing that he went missing is off. I don't know, but everything, it feels... I don't know yet. I don't know why I'm getting him. I don't know if it's just because he was the last one that saw him and I'm just like, I don't know. Um, I'm not trying to because in the pictures they look, you know, like a happy family and stuff, but then I, I hear like things aren't as they seem. So I don't really know what that means. Um, I did get the word accident, so it's kind of making me wonder if something didn't happen accidentally. Um, like, okay. And so, if he was in the pool, why would his dad leave him in the pool alone? That's another thing that's kind of bugging me. And I think I have all these thoughts going through my head. Like I told going somewhere before I came on here. Like I have my own feelings about things. And so, I'm trying to push those aside. And it, that's why I think I'm struggling with it. And I don't want to just... I'm ha I don't know. I don't want to say something and be wrong <laughs> um, when it's so new. Because it's not, like, new cases for some reason are hard. Sometimes, like I said, um, like, 
Like sometimes stuff comes to me real easy, like in other cases, but this case, I I I don't know why. I don't know why I'm struggling with it. Right. No, I am too <laughs> at this point. Um like I said, when I when I worked Kenny's, I mean he was alive, he ran off, and I was able to tell where he was. This guy, I don't want to leave the property. Um all of a sudden. Before I wanted to go out the back door and there was a reference to woods, but then it's like at the same time I keep getting that shed and I don't want to leave the property for some reason. Uh And for some reason, like, again, like, I feel if he would have left, the dog maybe would have went with him. Or maybe, maybe the dog's not that smart. I don't know. Um, you don't normally see the dogs leave the kids, though. I always see them go with them. Um, Yeah, I mean, doesn't matter how old the dogs are, dogs know. Um, and I've just never seen a dog leave a kid before. Instinctively, they know they're supposed to protect them. And I just, I mean, dogs can be stupid. I get that. And, and dogs, don't, I mean, I just, it just doesn't seem right because I feel like they were kind of together a lot. Um, Because I've seen little kids go off and then have a dog with them and, and be up, be with the dog. Um, not saying that was the case here, but it's just, it's just odd to me. Not really, I just get white. Well, like, my chest is hurting, my head is hurting, and I don't know where it's coming from. I mean, I hope it's not him. I don't know. It would just be check all the sheds at this point. It's like I keep seeing woods and a shed. Woods and a shed. I don't really know why. Um... Yeah, no, it's not an ambulance or anything like that. This is like a, some kind of shed, and I don't even know um, if it's on their property or close to their property. Which is so weird, because... I know I keep bringing up Kenny, but I keep going back to that case. And in that case, I know I had interconnects because, I mean, I knew where he was up on the ridge and stuff, but I also got a shed with him, but I saw inside the shed. And so I'm wondering if they're making me go back to that case because I picked up on this back then. That it was going to be an interconnect, which always happens to me. I can pick up cases years before they happen. So... I'm just wondering if that's why they keep taking me back to that case. Because in that case... Maybe I should pull up that case on my on my phone and see what... What was with... What I else I had gotten there. Because they keep referencing that to me and I'm just wondering. 
if they're trying to tell me that I got something back then that's important. Um, because that happens to me. It does. You can ask anybody. It's weird. I don't know if it's theirs, though. That's what I'm saying. It's okay. I'm going to look at Kenny's reading real quick that I did. Because this was in two, 2019 that I did this. But hold on one second. See, I got kind of blocked then, too. I had to do it on 513, and then I did another one on 514, and I got I got information, though, but... Um, Okay, I'm just looking because I know I got this shed in 2019, so I want to see real quick. Outbuilding. An outbuilding keeps calling in an outbuilding, and it's brown. It's got a slanted roof, and it's mostly kind of tall and skinny. That's what I was seeing in his. Now he could, this might not be connected. He could have went, Kenny could have went in that and checked it out and then kept going. Um, but it's weird because I got back of the property here. Down the road on here as well. Gravel and rocks, dog barking. Stony Hollow. I don't know if that makes sense, but that came in here, and I don't think it. See, it's weird because that part didn't fit Kenny. So this is what I think they wanted me to look at. I keep feeling he's in an outbuilding and see searchers. Like, that boy that was in the bush, I don't know if you guys know that story, but I had said he was in the bush, and he was in the bush, but searchers were all around him. They didn't even know he was there. Um, See, and then back then I got a reference in a case where there was a girl found out back of her house in a small outbuilding. So. And tall grass all around this outbuilding type of thing. I kept picking up an outbuilding there. So I don't know if Kenny went in one. He could have, but. Back of property, two houses,
So they reference two houses on here down the street, a gravel road, an outbuilding. Um, red barn and then a brown building with a slanted roof i don't i don't know what fits here if it does i'm just saying it because it didn't i don't we don't know if it fit his because i don't and i kept hearing a dog That, but I think the dog barking was when the dog found him because there is a dog that found him and I got that on here. So that's probably why I got the dog on that one. Do you know if any place has like really tall grass around there? Because this says It says, this, there's something stony on the property, whether it be a well or a driveway or rocks, that the house is stones. Purple flowers. Okay. Like, I got kept getting the grass was really tall and they hadn't mowed it, like it hadn't been mowed. And then I got four was coming in. The reference could be in the address or the fourth house. And heard the word carpenter. So maybe one lives there. A place has a woman's touch outside. So it looks like a couple lives there. And again, the outbuilding. So the repeating vision that kept coming in. So in this one, the that, the outbuilding in the grass was like a, a big thing. Um, so that's might might be why they kept mentioning Kenny, because I kept getting that. Um, yeah. Huh. It does look like there's an outbuilding back there, and that is a little bit more. See, what's weird is in um, Kenny's, it was also a hill. Yeah, I got him. Um, oh, you want me to send you a picture that she... Okay, hold on. That's what she's doing. Oh, I can put my cat in my... Are you coming back? Gosh dang it, Magic. I was going to put my camera up there. So, okay. That might be why I was getting the truck then. The guy who was at 
their house sitting today sitting in his truck. So was the guy in the truck there the day that he went missing or no? Is there any type of um, dirt road or gravel road? I mean, not gravel, like rock, rocky, rocky roads there? Okay. Well, I could just be getting that, but I think that's significant what I just told you guys because I keep being told Kenny's, so I had to go look and it. I forgot you guys have freaking snow there. Is that a red barn or something? Or like a barn? Or it's red. Because I know that came in. In that other reading, it was like a red type building or barn. And then the like a little skinny outbuilding. Um... So, I don't know if that's been checked. Right. Okay. Um, because in that, I was getting, like, four houses. And I don't know if anybody knows that there's a carpenter that lives there. When And there's, like, a, a woman, like, a woman's touch outside, you know. Um, that's what I was getting in. That's what I was getting in that in that reading and they keep they kept telling me kenny so i had to look and see and i think that's why i think i got information prior and we're just not aware of it um i just think it's weird that he walked off and the dogs didn't pick it up but It just, the, the vision I was seeing was very similar to what I saw back in Kenny, so that's why I thought it was significant um, as far as the outbuilding goes. Outbuilding or shed, whatever it is, some kind of building. Magic. <coughs> I was going to put that. Never sit here, though, so it's okay. So, can you get to that property by going out the back of the house? Because he was in the backyard, maybe that's why I keep wanting to go out the back of the house. But, um, Amanda, would that be, like, if I go out the back of the house, is it up this way? Because I kept getting a reference to tall grass in that reading. Is there, is there a road that goes, um, right, to the right, yes, okay, because that's the way I want to go. Well, you guys said, like, three, four houses down, that's not the same neighbor that was doing the that talked about the video, is it right? She said, that's fine, you can send it. Um, she said four, she said three to four houses down. That's not the same neighbor, is it? Okay. Yeah, that's why I want to go out the back of the house in this way. Well, if I'm if I if I'm looking out the back of the house, looking at you guys is the back of the house. I want to go to my, I guess it'd be left, not right. This way. I don't know my right for my left apparently. Is there any houses that has like rocks for a driveway or? Something like that. And is there anything with the word hollow in it? I got stony hollow in that, but hollow.
Okay, well, if it's not a driveway, then is there a pathway with some kind of rocks? I'm looking for a pathway with some kind of rocks. Okay. Um, because I got Stony Hollow in that reading, so I'm just checking to make sure there's nothing called that around there with the way my gifts work. Who knows at this point? Like I said, that was in 2019, but he reminds me a lot of Kenny. Oh, and it was weird because, like, when she sent him to me without, or I mean, she told me about him without a picture, I kept thinking blonde hair like Kenny. He has the same color eyes, and he looks a lot like him, but he's got red hair. I'm saying, like, like a rock pathway. It doesn't necessarily have to be a driveway. It's just going to be a reference point. Um... And it's weird. It's like now I'm now it's not as blocked. It's like spirit wanted me to look at that or something. Weird. They've never had me do that before. Huh. When we first got on, I don't know, I did kind of hear neighbor, but I kind of push it to the side. Um, he reminds me a lot of Kenny. It could be like brothers, except for just a different color hair, which is odd. So I think they're the same age, too. Okay, one second. Huh, there's a truck in that driveway. Is that the one you're talking about? Um, is this the neighbor's house or is this the one that's like three, four houses down like you were talking about? Okay. There's a truck in the driveway. Uh, I was asking her, I was asking her about the picture she sent me, the where it was, sorry, um, because there is a truck in the driveway, so,
What is? I'm so confused. They got trucks. Okay. Well, it's weird because in that reading, I got down the street and I got it again tonight. What's the neighbor's name? I got Jack, but I don't know where it goes. Maybe first or middle. I have the picture of the dad. It's okay. Um, so... What is, what's the neighbor that you Googled earlier? What do you mean? Okay. Well, so, like I'm saying, they, they drew my attention to that reading for a reason, and the fact that there was an outbuilding there, um, so, that's what I keep kind of getting. I would have everybody check their outbuildings if they haven't done so. Um, or any that are in the forest, which you would think that they would have checked that, but I don't, I don't, who knows, you know, they didn't even release this for a day. Usually don't have, don't struggle like this, so. I'm struggling. He's probably alive. Um, or it's just so new that. Okay. I don't know who Jack is. I don't know. I'd be curious if he's not the guy that's in the fourth house. There's something like I got down the street. And I got down the street in the other reading. And I got four houses and there was a reference to a contractor or someone like that. And it like the front of the house had a woman's touch. And flow flowers, obviously flowers if it's not no no flowers if it's cold, obviously, but um Well, or whatever I said, from the reading, from, from Kenny's reading, like, I get future information in cases before. They're interconnects, okay? So, sometimes the cases are similar. I will get information two years, three years, whenever, before it ever happens. 
So I kept thinking of Kenny, so I went back into Kenny's case, and there was a mention of a carp. Sorry, a carpenter. Yeah, carpenter, not contractor. Sorry, a carpenter, and um, like a woman. So like a woman's touch outside of a house. You know, you can just tell the difference if a woman lives there, kind of thing. I guess I don't know. Um, and I kept seeing like a rock pathway. So. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. That could not even be right here, but I think it is because they kept making me drawing my attention back to Kenny, which they look, they could be, they could be twins except for the hair. They look a lot alike. Um, which I was reminded of his case all day today. And I don't know if it's because Kenny ran off and was found okay, or if it's because they wanted me to look back in the reading, but it was it's significant somehow. And Kenny was up on the ridge, just saying. Um, he had been there for three days, and he was okay. So, um, like pebble pathways, it rocks, whatever. It, it looks the same in a vision, okay? When you're connecting in a vision, it's not always specific. I just, it's like rocks in a pathway. So rocks or pebbles, however it fits. Um, whatever you run across that matches. Um, huh. Do you guys know anybody around there that has, like, um, I don't even know. Either on their house, their garage, or... Um, some kind of somewhere on their house or one of their buildings, there's a bird. Um, okay. But on someone's building or house or whatever around there, I keep seeing like a bird like painted. Um, And it might not be like a very detailed bird. It's in blue. That's coming in. And that's the first thing I've gotten, really. Uh, so, I don't really know. I would look for that on some kind of house or building. Yeah, that looks right. I mean, that looks like a woman lives there. <laughs> How far down is that, Angela? How many houses down is that? So again, I know this is kind of a crappy video because I'm not really getting too much, but I keep seeing a bird on a house. There's a reference to a bird, and it might just be like a simple one. Um, I see it like, you know, how you draw those birds. I don't know, but it's blue, and it I see it on a building or... A garage or some kind of house something it's somewhere um that's coming in pretty strongly for some reason which that's like the first thing i've kind of gotten that's like not going away besides the shed and and the going out the back of the house um it doesn't have to be painted it's just how i'm seeing it which would make sense because I got the four houses down, right? Well, in Kenny's reading.
Okay, show me. Show me. Also, there's a reference to a fountain. Like, you know, one of those bird fountains or fountain in the front yard, like the little ones. Hold on, let me see it. Oh, do you haven't sent it yet or you did send it? You haven't sent it yet, huh? Is that outside or inside? I can't tell. I don't know if that's it. What house is that? Is it, that's the fourth house down or whatever? I don't know if that's it because I see it painted. Like on a garage or on a like shed or outbuilding. I don't think it's on the house. And it's blue. So I don't think that's it. I mean, it'd be nice if I could see that from the outside. No, I see it. Um No, I'm I'm seeing it on a building, either a garage, like maybe above the garage door or on the side of a, um, the side of a outbuilding, a side of a building of some kind. Um, I just see, keep seeing like a blue bird or it's painted bird, painted blue. Yeah, no, I think it, I think it's gonna have to be like a decoration. Like I keep seeing it painted, so you know how sometimes those beach and this this is obviously not the beach, but they're lake houses. But you know how sometimes the beach houses how they have like painted. painted things on there like a painted um painted birds or painted whatever that's what i keep that's what i keep seeing and there's a reference to some kind of fountain or a bird like bird bath fountain something like that i keep seeing that as well um Hey, what are you doing, buddy? I need to get more information because I'm going to have to get off. Keep my dogs out. Um, but it seems to be... I want to go to my left, out the back, out the back of the house, down the street. Um... Which is probably why I heard down the street.
dude, what are you doing? Oh, how weird. So that's where the carpenter comes in at. So see, there is a connection to Kenny's reading. Because the dad and his dad are both carpenters. Holy crap. Wow. That blew my mind right now. Because that came in a reading two years ago. That... Blew my ever loving mind right now. Um, how many houses is that down there? Holy crap. And it's by a creek. I picked up a creek earlier today. Um. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> That's why it's in my lap tonight, because my cat's... But she never lays here, so... That's not a coincidence, dude. That's not a coincidence. Wow. can't really see and it's like a reddish color too are there any outbuildings on that property that they built the fact that him and his dad are carpenters and i just said that two years ago in a reading that i was getting a reference to a carpenter's house and they built this house that's not a coincidence Right. Yes. His dad and his his dad and his dad are both uh whatever we said they were carpenters. That just blew my mind cuz I came in 2019. This is about four houses down, which is what I said in that reading. And there is a reference to uh outbuilding like, it would be this color, like this brown, weird brown color, I just wonder. Like, would the kid know to go down there? That's just, that's weird. I don't know. That's not a coincidence. It's kind of tripping me out now. Um, wow. I want to see something real quick because I swear I saw which is the creek the creek right there was where I wanted to go wait I got 50 something I need to go back and look at my that reading because And that's the right direction, right? That I wanted to go? That I was talking about? Yeah, that is. That's the right direction. Up, Upham Creek. Because that creek I was seeing too, the Upham Creek. Okay, I need to see if I've gotten that.
Yeah, I was getting a creek earlier today. Is there anything with 47 in it? I got that back then too, and I don't think it fit. And here there's a creek too, a creek or some sort of flowing water and then tall grass. Okay, it's okay. I was just seeing if it fit because it's in this reading. So if there's an address with it in it or something, you know. Yeah, right. I was thinking about maybe an address with it in it. That's all. Okay, I'm just going back over this reading real quick, seeing if I said everything. I got horses in here, but I think that was for what they used to go looking for him. So I don't think that, unless it interconnects. Um, flowers see it's weird because on here I said I keep wanting to go left which is what I said all night hear the word carpenter so maybe one lives out there And then the outbuilding again. So that, that's really weird that it's the fourth house. No. No. Put his picture back up. Do you know, Amanda, if they've checked that property? Probably not, huh? Well, yeah. Do you know if Riker ever went to that property with them?
Does anybody live in that property? Well, like I was saying, it's a brownout building from what the reading was saying back then. Um, like a, one of those skinny ones with the slanted roof. That's what kept coming in, but it could be really... Okay. So, he's got to be in between there and Grandpa's house, I guess. Um... Only, I'm only saying that because that's not a coincidence that I was getting Carpenter House. This is a, this is a building I don't think it's been checked. Because I know in Kenny's I kept thinking he was in an outbuilding I and I went in the outbuilding like um I don't know if you guys know what astral projection is but I did like him squiggly line I don't know what you're saying no I'm saying it's like it's like one of those skinny ones with this slant on the top going back to what I got back then I just think it's connected because they kept bringing up Kenny until I looked at the reading and then knowing how I get things interconnects and early I think it's significant especially since the dad is a carpenter and his, um, and his dad is and the house is for four houses down or roundabout um and there's a creek and i felt like the creek was crossed i don't know how how deep this creek is or whatever because there was a reference to a creek in that reading too and i got it again today um and between that i just see a bunch of woods so i get a bunch of woods and i get some kind of outbuilding or some kind of brown building i feel like and then the color red like like a red barn or uh, it doesn't even have to be a barn, but like a barn that's red or remind you of a barn that's red. Um, and then I said there's somewhere along the way or close by that has possibly, because they keep showing me a bird on the house, like it was painted or something like that. Um, and I don't know if someone has like one of those little bird bath fountains in the front of their house or somewhere on their house on their property it's okay no problem sorry i don't know how much longer i'm going to be able to do this I, i'm gonna have to take my dogs out and i'm getting like super tired even though i haven't done much tonight um I'm thinking maybe if I get some rest and I come on tomorrow and try to see if there's anything else I can get before I go to my mom's. Because I usually don't work Sundays, but I'm willing to make an exception. Um, that's like my only day off. But He's got to be between... Like, he's going to be between his house and, yes, I will. Right. I'm just thinking if I get some rest, um, I might be getting clear, clear information. You know what I mean? Um, but I feel like what I'm telling you from their house to grandpa's house, because I get down the street. The fact that Grandpa's house is Ford houses down the street, he would have known Grandpa. Maybe he's like, I'm going to go see Grandpa. I don't know. <coughs> I'm getting other, like, 
Because I keep trying to see if he's with somebody or something happened, and I just am not getting that. Like, okay, the thing with the dad feels weird, but I don't get any, I don't know. It's like, I'm not seeing him being hurt, and I'm not seeing someone coming up and getting him. So that's the weird thing, and the weird thing is, is why the dogs didn't want to leave the property, I don't know. Um, that's weird to me as well, and that's what's making me second guess. But at the same time, I've always wanted to go out the back door, into the woods. Right. Okay. So then I want to go four houses down. And maybe, maybe he got lost or something. I don't know. But why else could we explain that in 2019 in Kinney's, as an interconnect, possibly, I was getting four houses down and a carpenter. So, two, you know, their carpenters built the house. Either that or they're talking about grandpa's house or they're talking about carpenters in the family. But um, there's some kind of outbuilding that is significant where... It, now, I can remember that vision, which is weird, because it was in 2019. I remember astral projection, astral projecting and feeling like I was went into the outbuilding and the kid was there. Um, this outbuilding had, like, if I remember right, tools and stuff in it. So it was someplace where they put things. Um... So, you know, tools and stuff is what I'm getting with the outbuilding. Um, so you said you said chickens. I can hear roosters crowing. Which I know you said chickens, but I actually hear the roosters crowing. So he's within to where you could hear that. I just don't know if he took off, like, why he took off. It's weird. Um, right. And that's why I'm thinking, like, as soon as I can get up in the morning, because um, I'm going to go to bed after this, and as soon as I can get up in the morning, I might try to come on live and see if I can get, like, a clear picture. It could just be because I'm, like, super tired and I need to sleep on it, which I hate. Um, well, that's what I'm saying. Kenny was three years old. Kenny went out his back, out the back of the house, up the ridge, and was way up there. And they looked for him for three days. And they finally found him with dogs and horses and everything. And I had went there and I told him, come out. And he came out the next day. So it happens. Okay. Um, and I felt very strongly that he had taken off. Kenny had taken off. So, I mean, it happens. And he went up the ridge. They had, it was very similar. It's Tennessee, from what I remember. It's very similar. They had a ridge that you go up. And he went, he went up that ridge and he was stuck in the mountains for three freaking days. And he was three years old. He looked just like this kid, just like him, but with blonde hair. No joke. He's three or five, but still. Um, so it happens. And I felt he, I felt Kenny was chasing bugs. He was very, a uh, very. Yeah. Okay. So you know how on the, the map were their houses? Like if I go to the back of the house, it would be left. Yes. And that's the way I want to go is to my left. Right. Which is weird because earlier today I kept wanting to go straight up, right? And I'll just tell you guys what I got, but I started second guessing it. So earlier today I was getting that it, I wanted to go back out of the house, out into the woods. At that time I didn't know there was a hill, but out into the woods. I kept getting reference to a fallen down log. And this case 
where a psychic had found this kid and he was like hiding inside the log or next to the log. I can't remember because it was raining. So he went in there to get out of the rain. That's what I kept getting reference of today. And that's why maybe I keep getting um, a reference to, right. And so I thought maybe he went, he's, he's obviously, he's gotten scared. He's gotten lost if he's, if that's what happened. And he's either found an outbuilding or a tree trunk to get under. I got the tree trunk earlier, but either he's in the outbuilding now, or he's like, he maybe left the tree trunk and went to the outbuilding. Like, you know what I mean? Maybe he ran across one or found it when it quit raining like there's a reference to both because I got the tree trunk earlier, like laying on the ground. One of those big ones, you know, that a little kid could go in and because there was a kid that was found by a psychic that was inside one of those. And he was lost in the woods as well. And it was raining. So um, that's what I got earlier today. And then today I'm getting an outbuilding. So. Right. And that's why I asked if he had been to the one that they built because, um, cause that's four houses down. So it's easy for a kid to just go off and just get lost. I mean, I see it, seen it happen multiple times. It's not like it's not unheard of. You know, where does the three-year-old go? Well, they just get curious and get off, and then they get lost, and they can't find their way home. That's what happened. I mean, I don't know how Kenny survived for three days out there by himself. It was a miracle. Uh, so. But that's what I got earlier, and I wanted to tell you guys now, because it could have been where he was at one point or whatever. But then... I was second guessing things because I don't know. I got to thinking too much and I got to thinking about how they're saying, well, you know, about the dog and then how they're saying his scent got, didn't leave the yard. And like it started making me, and then they think, oh, he got picked up because of his scent. And so then it started making me think someone picked him up and all that. But at the same time, I don't see him getting picked up. Like, yeah, there's a reference to a truck, but that could mean there's a truck close by him or in the backyard of somewhere. You know what I mean? I don't I don't know what the truck is about. Um and I don't like I, I was focused on the dad, but it could be that could be you know. That's what I'm saying. Um, that I don't feel like the dog would have left, which is which kind of had me second guessing everything because I'm like, why didn't the dog go with him? Because you see these cases where the kids go out into the woods and the dog goes with them. So it's weird that the dog didn't go with them. You know, that, that kind of threw me off too. So the problem that I think that I'm having here is my mind. My mind is in it is messing me up it's screwing me up because i'm trying to think logical i'm trying to think well did he get picked up did he do this did he do that did something happen you know but i'm just i guess i'll try to go with what i originally got which i guess i should reread that message to make sure i'm telling you everything because i don't remember everything um Where is it? Hold on. So I want to make sure I tell you guys everything that I got in case I'm missing anything. Okay, I asked if you were missing from the house. And then I, that's when I got the creek. And 
wooded area I was asking about. There's a wooded area because I hadn't seen the area yet. Um, and then I said, some reason I think he went in the woods, not the water. So, yeah, you can replay it. Um, and then I said, I have this other case. I had another case to do. But then I said, behind the house, though, into the woods. And then I get a creek. But I kept wanting to go behind the house into the woods. That was just the first things that I got. Okay. And then um, I was like, they really need to check the woods by any falling down logs. Because I was getting that case with the falling down log. I kept referencing a case that worked a kid with, where the kid was in the wood a couple days. Also, another case where that was Kenny's case. And then another case where I saw the kid had gotten scared and was in the tree trunk. So sometimes they will reference cases and they, they're similar to this. I just felt it wood, wooded around him, honestly. So this is what I got before I heard anything else and my mind started working over time. Um, but I, I was like, I'm telling you, I want to walk behind behind the house into like out the back into the forest. And then I kept getting a creek and then the log. So those are all the things I got. Um, but then I was like, I think they find him because I kept, you know, whenever they find a kid, they wrap them in blankets. I was getting that. So it's a possibility, but there can be different outcomes. It just depends. Um, and it was weird. I was getting three, two, and then three, like he's three years old. He went missing at three at three o'clock, third at three o'clock. So, um, And I said, like, with three within three miles by a log in a wooded area not far from a creek. Um, I, and then I felt like he zigzagged. It's okay, baby. That's fine. I'm going to get off anyways. I, I actually was on late. It was just a thing I had to come do. So that's what I originally got before I knew everything else. So I'm just going to go with what I originally picked up. Even though it wasn't, like, while I was scribbling and doing a reading, that's what I was seeing. Um, so, I would keep all that in mind because it's what I originally got, okay? So, um, let's see, my, my cat finally left. I'm going to be getting off here in a minute anyways, I think. Because I'm just so tired. I just don't think I'm being helpful. You know. I just don't think I'm being helpful. <laughs> Honestly. Um, make sure you hit the notification bell. Anne. But. That's what I originally got. So I just want to kind of stay with that. Before I found anything else. But the thing about the dogs not wanting to leave the property. Kind of has me. Second guessing things I guess. And I don't think I'm being helpful in this, though. I'm having a really hard time with this case for some odd reason. And it's probably because he's alive. Because those are always harder for some reason. But Kenny was alive after three days, so there's still hope. Okay, there's still hope. Um, they just have to find him tomorrow. If he's out there, if, unless someone has him. But, like I said, I just, I feel like if someone would have came by and picked him up, somebody would have seen it, right? Because all those um, all those houses look kind of close together, you know. And they're all like, it's more like a ritzy neighborhood. I don't know. But I heard like weird things go on out there, someone told me. So, yeah. So that's just, and, and right now, like, I'm not getting, like, anybody has him and did anything bad to him either. So, god dang it, magic. I took her spot with the camera. <laughs> yeah, that, that was what threw me off too. Because they didn't even, they didn't even put it out. They didn't even put it out for, like, 30-something freaking hours. Like, how much time did they waste? Because... People could have been checking their properties and all that, you know, by then. Um, so.
so it's super it's super weird i don't know um that's why i started second guessing everything and i think that's why i blocked myself a little bit because that's what happens when i bring my mind into it and i start second guessing what i'm getting which i don't mean to but it's like my logical mind kind of takes over you know um that's where i have the issues at But I'm willing to work privately as well. I don't have to do a YouTube video. I just was trying to get attention. Um, yeah, like me and Shazam were like, what the heck? Like, why the heck is it taking them so long to report it? And then we heard that he was found deceased. And... Dude, no. He went missing yesterday. I'm talking... I'm not talking about when he was reported missing. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's off. The timing's off. That's what I was saying earlier. The timing felt off, right? Um, and... I try not to involve myself, but for some reason, and if this is an interconnect from 2019 that I got information that can help here, that just says I was supposed to work it. And it's not about anything else other than just the little boy. I don't care about anything else other than the little boy. Um, Right, which is weird to me, unless, like, they went looking for him and stuff, which is usually what they say they do, right? But um, the thing is, is they didn't report him missing until today. And, or they didn't even have the Amber Alert until recently because I tried to Google and find it so I could get a picture, and there was nothing. There was nothing. Nothing, nothing. Nothing. Because I was like... I when the, the lady said that there was a kid missing, I was like, where? I haven't heard, like, any new kids missing like that are like that, you know? Sorry, I heard all that. Well, anyways, there was nothing... There was nothing out that stated he was missing anywhere. Could not find a picture. Could not find anything. Right, and so my mind was thinking, well, my mind always goes to the parents first, um, honestly. And it might still, I mean, we might, I might get something. That goes that way, because I really didn't get much tonight. Like, I, I was so worried that I. I was so worried that I was going to screw this up, and I think I have. <laughs> I was telling Shazam, I was like, I do not like to work new cases because it's sometimes it's so hard to get information. Um, but, and I know I seem like a freaking amateur right now because I should be getting more information, but I can only get what they give me. Partly, I think it's my fault. I'm tired. I'm probably blocking it with my mind, thinking too much. Um no, I know. But you know what I mean? I I very hard on myself. I don't like being I don't like being wrong. <laughs> so I feel like I wanna get this right. Like there's it feels like a lot of pressure for some reason, probably because I feel like he's still alive, so there's a lot of pressure. And I I block myself when I put a lot of pressure on myself. Um and then I start questioning everything. You know, my first my first thought is always the parents, just because so many cases have been that way that you know that's where it goes and i and i try not to i try not to have thoughts about it so i pray is too and if it's an interconnect then he is if what i got in kenny's case is this case as well because People will tell you, right? Well, it's weird. If, if they waited three hours to report him missing, that makes me go, what? Like, unless they went and looked for him or something, but still, it doesn't make any sense. 
kick the cat off root. So I do. I second guess myself. Shazam will tell you. I helped her find um, her friend's kids. It was they were exactly where I said they were, and they were alive and they were fine. And that was easy for some reason. Um, so I like to go in blind and not know anything, but I kind of knew some stuff. And I helped find a runaway teen. Like there's there's stuff I've done. It's just. Just for some reason, I'm really struggling with this one, and I don't really know why. I just think I'm tired. I just think I'm tired, honestly. I think I overdid it today and energetically, and I'm hoping when I get some rest tomorrow, it'll be different, and I just need to not. Like, that's odd to me, and so that's maybe why I was focusing on the dad so much. Oh, yeah, I found her dad. I found her daughter's wallet. <laughs> it was missing since December, and I found it. But, so see, I can find things. <laughs> so maybe that's why I'm focused on the dad so much. See, there's something off. I feel like there's something off, but then at the same time, I'm getting all this other stuff. Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I work, I never worked that much, but I did one reading after another reading after another reading today. And I did a cold case, a 44 year old cold case, for two hours today. So, yeah, there's something, there was something that was troubling me with the dad. I could be getting a location for something else. You know what I mean? Like, hopefully not his body, but I could be getting a location. Uh, but I've been, I have. I've been working all day. I <laughs> two hour. This cold case had me because schizophrenic on the delusion that he thought the entire time was, or that he thought the entire time was happening, so that he could let everybody know the delusion and what was going on because his delusion caused people to die, and he had me on the delusion for over an hour until he showed me that it was just a delusion. The weirdest thing I've ever, ever seen in my life. So that took two hours of, I've never, two hour reading, two hour reading on a case is a lot. It's very, it's a lot. So, you know, um, oh yeah, I'll do cold, I'll do cold, I do cold cases. I do all kinds of cases. Yeah, it was. And not only that, I had, I was supposed to be a 20 minute reading today and it went. Yeah. Um, so I had a 20 minute reading today and it went an hour because they decided they wanted medium shipping to go longer. So um, it went an hour and then I had that two hour one. And then right after that, I had 30 minutes. So I was just reading readings all day and then I was like I want to work on this little boy but I don't know because I'm so tired I'm drained I don't know if I'm gonna you know <sighs> it's fine for cases I'll do for free but if someone can donate or then that you know helps me yeah I do medium readings I've been doing this for over nine years it's just Sometimes I struggle like this with cases when it's um, when it's new like this. That's fine. I mean, you don't have to. You don't have to. You can you can suggest cases the psychic sleuth at gmail.com. I don't go in any particular order, but if someone donates, I do do that case first. But you don't have to. So. But. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow we'll have better luck with what I'm getting. But I'm telling you, I don't want to leave the dad alone for some odd reason. Like, that still is just there. And I heard accident. So I'm wondering if he did something. And I don't want to I don't want to say that, though. Like, I don't like to say that, you know, because I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But um, 
And like I said, um, when I was getting that other stuff, that was from 2019. I just thought it was interesting um, that they kept bringing up Kenny and there looks like there looks like there could be information that fits here because he looks so much like Kenneth. It's crazy. Um, yeah, I try not to be generic. This reading is very generic for some reason. So, um, oh crap. I didn't mean to pin that message. Damn it. Ah, crap. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just took off my donation thing and then, oh, well, who cares? Um, so, I mean, I try not to be generic. If you watch my other readings, I get pretty deep information. So for this, I'm just, I don't know why I'm struggling with it so much. I don't know why I'm struggling with it so much. Um, and if he's, if he's passed, then he's not coming through for some reason, which usually I say give people at least a week. But I have contacted them earlier. But I mean, so, I don't know. I don't like to say, I don't like to come on here and be like, oh, yeah. I feel like this person did it. Because what if I'm wrong? <laughs> Unless I'm, like, really sure and I see them doing it, which I didn't really see anything. But I could not. I cannot take my focus away from him for some reason, you know. Yeah, I'm so, I appreciate it. And I just wonder if I did like a, like if I messaged you guys and did a reading, if I'd get something better. You know, um... Yeah, I am energetically drained. Uh, so I did get accident. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I wonder if I'll get more if I do it in a private reading. Um, all that I ask is if he, if he, if my, gosh dang it, magic. If my information does help you find him in any way, like if I get more information and it does help him be found that you guys, you know, say that I helped because then I can help others because it gives me a track record, you know, because um, Kenneth, I, they basically, you know, uh, said, said that I said he was chasing bugs. <laughs> and there's, they didn't know that, but they, they had my reading and they said, they were like, well, why do you think he went missing? And they're like, oh, he was chasing bugs. Well, that's what my whole reading said. So it was weird. But like no one ever comes out and says like, I helped find the um, that runaway and no one ever said anything. So it's fine, whatever. But it's only so I can help more people. That's the only reason. You know what I mean? Because I think it's really important that when they get stuck that they reach out to psychics that can help. You know what I mean? And they just, people don't do that enough. And I feel like if they did, I mean, I'm not saying just anyone, you know, someone that has a proven, proven track record that they should, they should help. And that's what I would like to bring out there. Yeah, I went on live because I couldn't. Right. And so that's why I'm like, that's that's the only reason I want people to say if a psychic helps them to say it, because then maybe it'll get more people to use psychics. Maybe it will. You know, I've helped a lot of cases, so I feel like I can help. I'm just stuck for some reason. And again, maybe it's because they're not letting me say something out loud yet you know what i mean there's there's something that they're blocking me from but i don't know what it is i know i'm i'm saying proven track record and not just anybody 
you know. But if people if people listen to me more often, like I have a lot of locations for missing people, but they're never checked. So I don't know they could be found, but no one ever checks and listens. So I don't know. Right. Okay. See, because I saw that the mom was asking for prayers and stuff like that. So I thought they were doing more. So that makes me even more like, I don't know. I don't get the best feeling about, I don't get the best feeling. And maybe it's because I'm live. I'm not allowed to say what I'm really thinking. Um, and I could be getting a, a I could be getting a different case or I could be getting a complete different location. Right. Well, I'll message you what I'm, what I'm concerned about. And I just, I, I don't know if it's my mind or if it's spiritual information at this point. You know what I mean? And that's why I'm wondering if there's been an outbuilding or some kind of building that's been checked. Right. And I got accident. But at the same time, I'm not being shown anything like that. So it's throwing me off because I'm not being shown an accident. I'm not being shown someone taking him. I'm not being shown anything. It's weird. I usually don't have this problem. You can watch my other videos. I always get information, but for some reason I'm really struggling with this. And it's not because I'm fake and I suck and I, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing because I can assure you I know what I'm doing. Well, I appreciate that since you don't know me. <laughs> but you can watch my other cases. I mean, I get. Right, exactly. Exactly. And it's it's weird. I don't I don't know. It's like I'm blocked or something. But what I'm going to do. I think is I will, I'll make a group message. How about that? Um, do you have Facebook or do you just have Instagram, Athena? Because I'll make, maybe. Well, no, I know you don't, Amanda, but Athena, okay, okay. So if you can message me on Facebook, I'll send you the, I'll send you how to get me on Facebook. Yeah, we'll do a messenger group. We'll add you to, I'll add Shazam uh, going somewhere because she always does it with me. And we'll do a reading and we'll see what I get. And if we want to put the information out, we'll put the information out. At least location, hey, stop. Stop. It's okay. I gotta let my dogs out. But at least location information. Okay. So I'll do that tomorrow when I get up and I wake up and everything because it takes me a minute to wake up. Um, well, and I have, I have, a, I have both of them on Messenger and Instagram right now. So we'll do that and we'll see what I get because I'm thinking if I can. We'll see. Maybe it's because I'm live and they don't want me sharing the information live yet. But if I can get a location, then we'll share it. How about that? Or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Does that sound like an okay plan? And then I don't know if any of this information I gave you guys is right. So don't just take it with a grain of salt and check it out. And I always get things for a reason. So it's not this case. It's another one. But um, we'll try that. 
I'm behind you guys, though. I'm in Arizona, so I think you guys are ahead of me by a couple hours. Um, so, you know, I'll try to get up as early as I can, but you're welcome. Um, I'm willing to do as much work as I can on this, okay? So, okay, so it's two, so you guys are, okay, two, three, so you're an hour ahead, one, okay, that's not bad, that's not bad, you're welcome, I mean, like I said, it's about this little boy, not about anything else, but I, I think I'm blame, being blocked for some odd reason, and I don't know if it's because that there's sensitive information that they're not wanting me to share yet, you know what I mean, um, that could be it. Maybe they're wanting me to type this up so I can't really think about it because I channel best when I type. It's just I started doing this live stuff because not my people aren't always available to channel, to let me type. So I started doing this live stuff. Plus, I wanted to learn how to kind of channel this way, but I've always channeled typing my readings out for years. So maybe that's what I need to do to get deeper and not think about it so much because I think I'm thinking too, about it too much. I think that's my problem. Because I'm just thinking, 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 you know. Um, so I will message you guys tomorrow. I mean, I think I got stuff for a reason. Like, I was definitely seeing things. I just, I don't have the whole story. I'm not being shown if any, I'm not being shown him walking off. I'm not being shown somebody taking him. I'm not being shown somebody doing something to him. I'm not being shown any of that, which usually I'm shown the whole story. I'm just being shown different things. And so I don't know where they fit. They might not even fit this case. Um, just keep that in mind for people that are watching if it turns out to be completely wrong. Because if we get important information, I will share it with you guys. All right. Well, I'll share it on the live or whatever. So, yeah, but I don't know if it's right because I still can't get away from the dad. And now they're telling me this about the family. It's making it even more suspicious. So we'll do that tomorrow. And... Whoever's there, you know, I just will need you to validate as I go along or say yes or whatever. But, um, it's fine. It's my, it's the only day I take off. I go to my mom. She's an hour away, but I'll do it before I go. It's fine. Um, I usually don't work before noon, but that's all right. If I, I, I really want to help find him. So this is a special case. This is special, the special circumstances. So it's fine. All right, so I'll be messaging you guys. We'll set something up for tomorrow. You guys have a good night. Thanks for hanging with me. My battery's dying, and I got to let my dogs out, and it's 2 o'clock in the morning, and I'm surprised I have this many people. So thanks for hanging out with me and everything.